the Office of Naval Research, a legacy of innovation. World War II taught America that maintaining the nation's military advantage required a constant flow of innovative technology and dominant capabilities. So in 1946, Congress authorized a new military command to seek out groundbreaking science and technology capabilities. That command, the Office of Naval Research, or ONR. Led by the Chief of Naval Research, ONR changed the game for how the nation could use military resources to harness the power of science and technology research. ONR equips warfighters with cutting edge technology to give them undeniable superiority and greater lethality on the battlefield. Today, our sailors and Marines are operating in a world of rapid technological change and strategic competition. Since 1946, the Office of Naval Research has been the home of those scientists, engineers, and other professionals with bold ideas and innovative concepts to be able to deliver for the fleet and force. But innovation comes from a lot of places. It comes from our partners in industry and academia. It comes from our allies and partners around the globe. But our most important source of innovation is the sailor and marine on the deck plate who tells us what they need to be successful. ONR is a very unique organization. They sponsor the human. They bet on humans and will, are patient. And they bet on me now for 55 years, have helped me develop the technology that has revolutionized our understanding of the oceans in the academic world, but also transitioned that technology to the fleet. Yeah, so ONR has really been key to my entire professional career. The support has been very nurturing in order to facilitate research in a wide range of topics, kind of largely focused around ship dynamics and hydrodynamics. Whether we are trying to mitigate something big like capsizing or trying to understand and predict motion so that if we want to land the helicopter on the deck of a ship. In my experience working with ONR, I've been able to be exposed to problems and challenges that I didn't even know existed. ONR enhances technological capabilities of the Navy and Marine Corps. It is organized into departments focusing on vital naval research priorities. These priorities support sailors and Marines around the world, allowing them to complete their mission and come home safely. ONR's research departments include C5ISR, Ocean Battle Space Sensing, Sea Warfare and Weapons, Warfighter Performance, and Naval Air Warfare and Weapons. The ultimate goal? Get new, novel capabilities into the hands of naval warfighters through revolutionary research and rapid development. It's very reassuring to know that the Office of Naval Research thinks about how they could make our lives easier or, you know, even save our lives doing this kind of research. This involves powerful collaborations with partners such as ONR Global, the London-based arm serving as ONR's linchpin for international scientific diplomacy, the Naval Research Laboratory, the Navy's famed laboratory founded by Thomas Edison, and pivotal in breakthroughs like radar, sonar, and America's first satellite program. Naval X, an organization dedicated to building partnerships between industry and military. Supporting the Naval s and strategy of promoting maritime technical dominance, a culture of s and excellence, partners and allies through naval scientific diplomacy, and aligning our efforts to the CNO's NAV plan and Commandant's force guidance, we are singularly focused on delivering capabilities and knowledge that will ensure our sailors and Marines have the tools they need to win. With a workforce that includes some of the top PhDs and engineers in their fields, ONR sponsors research by the best minds. Folks should really understand about the Office of Naval Research. It really does have a very long time horizon built on the ability of our program officers to see what uh, the impact of their investments really can be. It is a balancing act and it is, uh, can only be done by a very small group of people uh, that understand both the technical uh, aspects and the war fighting aspects of what we do.
The most satisfying part of my job as an O&R program officer is that engagement all across the spectrum. The fact that when you talk to a sailor or a Marine and you've actually helped their day-to-day -day work that have helped them solve a problem is so, so, so meaningful. O&R is a great place to work because of the people and the science we get to help conduct. So the people are incredible. We get to work with some of the top minds both within the building and around the world uh, with who we partner with in academia, industry, and government. And then the science we get to do is innovative. It's on the cutting edge, and we get to do that in support of the warfighter. Our ability to maintain our advantage is all about innovation. It's all about getting innovative technologies and accelerating those technologies into the hands of the warfighter so that we can maintain our advantage. For more than 75 years, the Office of Naval Research has benefited the Navy, Marine Corps, and the nation through pioneering science and technology. And it will continue to lead the way for the future force. ONR has uh, incredibly gifted people, um, some of the best subject matter experts in many different disciplines. And, uh, and what is nice about ONR is that not only do they attract a lot of talent, also they're able to retain a lot of talent because the mission that they do has true purpose in it. Learn more about ONR at www.onr.navy.mil.